good evening ladies and gentlemen in welcome to this model on gmm gmm stands for generalized method of movements uh, i'm using gmm method in time series models uh, let me introduce this uh, model uh, in our earlier video uh, i estimated two stages least square model now i pose a question what will happen if we put together non linear non linear estimation in two stages least squares while eviews can happily estimate a non linear equation using the two stages least square command but uh, most econometricians uh, nowadays are uh, using the gm method or generalized method of movements which is uh, abbreviated as gmm two stages least squares can be thought of as a special case of gmm because gmm extends two stages least squares in two dimensions first gmm gmm estimation typically accounts for heteroscedasticity and our serial correlation secondly uh, gmm specification is based on n orthogonality condition between a function and uh, instruments as an example as before in tsls suppose that instead of tsls command uh, we use G gmm command as follows so let me go to the data and uh, this is my work file um, previously i uh, estimated uh, ls and then i estimated uh, uh, two stages least square uh, this time i am going to estimate gm gmm so here the command instead of tsls would be gmm and rest of the model is the same as before so we can compare the results of uh, this model uh, of this video uh, with the earlier video so let me press enter and uh, here is uh, my estimated model now the dependent variable is uh, inflation the method is now generalized method of movements that is gmm now if you compare these results with the results of the tsls they are more or less the same let me uh, let me compare uh, one is this model the gmm and uh, my tss uh, tsls estimation is here uh, in both the models the coefficients are almost the same and both negative the coefficient of uh, inflation in future is 1.13 while i used two stages least square and now this coefficient is also equal to 1.13 uh, and it uh, it's uh, highly significant uh, in the two stages least square the coefficient on unemployment rate in its leg was minus 0.028 and now this coefficient is a uh, minus 0.03 so it's almost the same and uh, both these coefficients in the gmm method and uh, in the tsls uh, these are uh, insignificant uh, this p is insignificant and here also this p value is uh, insignificant in the tsls uh, the r squared value was minus 1.48 and now in gm gmm method the r squared uh, is minus 1 is minus 14 minus minus 0.146 so in both these models that is the tsls and the gmm the r squared is uh, negative so it means that uh, the data poorly fits uh, the, this model poorly fits this data so although 
the fit is poor but again as i explained earlier the sign the algebraic sign of uh, the coefficients of future inflation and un unemployment rate in its leg are according to the theory they are as predicted by the theory so what is the difference between gmm and uh, tsls as i told you the estimated results are more or less the same there is a very uh, negligible a difference between the estimated coefficients and the p values in both the models uh, but uh, gmm has uh, one improvement over tsls and if you press estimate on this uh, equation box uh, it tells you everything here is the, the model here is the list of instrumental variable and uh, here is the method that it has used now hac new way west uh, method uh, uh, automatically take care of the heteroscedasticity as well as uh, the serial correlation and uh, this method uses the robust standard errors and uh, it corrects for uh, heteroscedasticity and our uh, serial correlation automatically so ladies and gentlemen uh, this is a uh, a brief uh, discussion about uh, this model so let me also uh, tell you the results again the resulting estimate is close to the two sls estimate but it is not identically uh, by default, EViews applies one of the many variable options for estimation that is robust to heteroscedasticity and serial correlation. That is, in the generalized methods of movement, the EViews by default uses the robust uh, standard errors uh, which take care of uh, heteroscedasticity and uh, serial uh, correlation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope. Uh, you now understand uh, what is the difference between least square method two stages least square method generalized method of movements and uh, what are their uh, respective merits and uh, demerits uh, especially the generalized method of uh, movements uh, which is a very much improved method and uh, econometrician nowadays uh, use generalized method of movement for estimation of their uh, equations and models. So, with this uh, brief uh, discussion, I thank you very much. Uh, kindly uh, like the video, share it with friends and colleagues, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed, and uh, don't forget to click on the channel and uh, on, on the icon bell so that uh, you can uh, get notification about my future videos uh, thank you very much and uh, i'll meet you in another video very soon so as i told you by uh, clicking on the estimation button reveals the gm specification tab and the entire right hand side of this tab is devoted to the choice of the robust estimation methods thank you very much